guys, check out right here. Did you see the white roots? Nice. Think some root right here. Do you see it? The roots. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is June 12, 2020. It's a Friday. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use polite as a media to propagate a hydrangea using hydrangea cuttings. As you know, hydrangea is very easy to grow roots, so I really want to know whether I use hydrangea cutting to propagate hydrangea is easy or not. Let's get some hydrangea cuttings. Hi guys, I just got six hydrangea cuttings. All these cuttings do not have any flower buds. Look at it, the leaves. It's gorgeous, very green, very healthy. I really like the leaves. It's huge and big. I'm going to take this hydrangea cutting as a demonstration to show you how to make hydrangea cutting. So first I'm going to remove the lower leaves and you can see on the top there's the four leaves so because the leaves hydrangea leaves is really really big so I'm going to cut apart to reduce the hydration and also for this one I'm going to cut some you can see and uh, you can see this is a lower leaf nose I'm going to make a angle cut As you can see here, it's angle cut. So this is the hydrangea cutting. I'm going to just make the rest of the hydrangea cuttings. Hi guys, I already prepared six hydrangea cuttings, and I separated them into two groups. On the left side you can see the cup labeled with water. I soaked three hydrogen cuttings in that cup. On the right side that cup labeled with mono potassium phosphorus. I soaked three hydrogen cuttings in that cup because as you know mono potassium Phosphorus is very useful fertilizer which can help root development. So that's why I divide all these cuttings into two groups. I want to compare with water whether pre moistened mono potassium phosphorus whether it can improve roots development. Okay, this is the polite I'm going to use in this experiment. And also I prepared two cups. For each cup I made several holes on the bottom for drainage. So I'm going to fill the two cups with polite.
I'm going to pour some water to pre-moisten polite. Hi guys, I already soak three hydrogen cuttings into the water for two hours and also soak three other hydrogen cuttings in monopotassium phosphorus for two hours. Everything is ready and also the polite I already pre-moistened. So let's go ahead to stick hydrogen cuttings into the polite. Okay, so first I'm going to use a stick to make three holes in this container. And also I'm going to stick hydrogen cutting into the polite. Okay, just like this. I'm going to finish it to other cuttings. As you can see here, all the three hydrogen cuttings are already stick into the polite. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to stick three hydrogen cuttings into the polite. Hey guys, I already stick three hydrogen cuttings into the plight. I already finished hydrogen cuttings set up. As you can see here, I put each cup in a small container and the small container filled a little bit of water so the plight can aspirate water and keep the plight moist. Hi hey guys. As you can see here, there is a very, very large, big container upside down. And you can see inside, there's a lot of moisture. I sprayed some water inside, so it generates humidity inside. Because we live in Los Angeles area, during the summertime, the temperature is very, very high, and there's less humidity in the air. So I'm going to put my hydrangea cuttings container inside and covered with this big container so I can generate like a greenhouse inside, keeps inside moist. Just like this. So, anyway, I'm going to put this setup on the east side of my house because we don't have any windows open to the north side. So, and keep to avoid direct sunlight. I'm going to come back to check out what's going on with my hydrangea cuttings. Hi guys, today is July 18th, 2020. It has been five weeks after I set up hydrogen cutting experiments. As you can see, generally speaking, all the hydrogen cuttings in both cups are pretty healthy. Compared with the hydrogen cuttings in water cup, there are some yellow leaves in monopotassium phosphorus. It is suggested pretreatment 
with very low concentration, about 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus, might be a little bit toxic to hydrangea cuttings. As you can see, the polite in two cups still keep moist. Actually, today I found some roots development in water cup, but not in monopotassium phosphorus. Let me show you. Hi hey guys, this is uh, hydrogen cuttings in water cup. You can see a lot of moisture inside. Take a close look at here. Can you see some roots development? from at least one hydrangea cutting. It's right here. A little bit, a little bit light green. It's right here. See, that's the roots. So, so far, actually it's the hydrangea cutting setup. It's pretty good. So I'm going to keep watching to see how the roots develop. On the left side, you can see there's shoots right here. New growth, new shoot. Looks nice. I just checked both cups. It, it is pretty similar to the last week. Hi hey guys, today is August 21st, 2020. It has been 10 weeks after I set up this hydrangea cutting experiment. As you can see here, in both cups, you can find a lot of moisture inside. In what cup, you can find three hydrogen cuttings, still green, pretty healthy. In monopotassium phosphorus cup, two hydrogen cuttings are green, pretty healthy only one hydrogen cutting turned brown and black. So I think today is the day I'm going to pull out all the hydrogen cuttings and check out the roots development. First, I'm going to check out the hydrogen cuttings from water cup. I cannot find the roots. Oh, nice. Guys, check out right here. Did you see the white roots? Nice. It's beautiful. Even though the roots is very thin, not very strong, but definitely you can see the roots. Let's check out this one. Ah, beautiful. I think some root right here. Did you see it? The roots. Okay, guys. Hi, right, guys. For what cup you can see? Two of three hydrogen cuttings grow roots. Only one does not have roots. So remember, this is a hydrogen cutting without any rooting hormone. So it's beautiful right here. Okay, let's check out the hydrogen cuttings from monopotassium phosphoric cup. Let me pull out this one first. Definitely no roots. Already turned brown and black. This one you can see the roots. There's kind of two roots right here.
here you can also see some roots right here nice you can see the the bottom part of the cutting is still green pretty healthy it's beautiful So guys, the hydrogen cuttings from monopotassium phosphorus, two of three hydrogen cuttings already grow roots, as you can see here. The roots is not so strong, but it definitely you can find some roots developed. Nice. So guys, so as you can see here, on my left hand is uh, hydrogen cuttings from what cup. On my right hand is uh, hydrogen cuttings from monopotassium phosphorus. So you can compare kind of the hydrogen cuttings from what cup has more roots grow well, better, then the hydrogen cuttings from monopotassium phosphorus. So if you pre-treat with monopotassium phosphorus kind of does not help. You can grow more roots from hydrogen cuttings. But two of three hydrogen cuttings in both cups, they already grow roots. It's beautiful, pretty successful. I just want to mention again, all these hydrogen cutting experiments, I did not apply any rooting kernels. It's beautiful. Check out right here.